Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do when the Family Safety app is not working on Windows 10. The Microsoft Family Safety app helps the user to create healthy habits and protect other peers with digital and physical safety. While growing to be very popular in the tech world, many users claim to receive errors such as there's a temporary problem with the service, please try again. The causes can vary from conflicts with the antivirus service, exaggerated firewall behavior, to even an outdated operating system. Fortunately, the solutions are quite simple, so let's dive in to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is restarting your device. The first and most obvious step that the person who is having similar issues needs to do is to restart the device. As basic as it sounds, it can solve many problems with broken services or errors within the operating system. So make sure as usual to restart your PC. Another great solution is disabling your antivirus or firewall. If the issue persists, then try disabling your antivirus temporarily and see whether that has any effects. Turn off the firewall as well. It can also happen that certain antivirus tools just aren't compatible with older software. And if you're unable to run the Family Safety app, just try removing or disabling your antivirus. In this case, if removing the antivirus solves the problem, it might be a perfect moment for you to consider switching to a different antivirus software. You can also try to sign in. In this case, you can take the problematic device and go to Microsoft's support page to fix account issues that may be causing this error. Your child's Microsoft account may periodically expire on their device. And when this happens, activity is not sent from the device and various errors and issues may occur. So the quickest way to fix that is to verify the account, so be sure to check it accordingly. And another useful solution is updating Windows. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and then writing settings. Then click the settings option. Now navigate to update and security section. There you have to click check for updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.